This is a pilot survival ration that was used by the Yugoslavian JNA Air Force. It weighs 12.2 ounces or 345 grams. It was originally sealed with tape, but this one was opened and the tape was removed. This is a lightweight aluminum container. Reminds me of that West German ration. Let's see if it's all there. Okay, so right off the bat, four salt tablets. That's to replenish your sodium and lost electrolytes through sweating and heavy exertion. A great item and excellent allocation of space for a survival ration. And then here are some Rondo brand milk flavored candies. You get three 24 grams each. They look to be in pretty good shape. Let's see how well they held up. And this is a 45 gram tube of herbal candy. Nothing has any scent. Maybe just a slight musty and chalky smell, if anything. Not really much of a smell at all to anything. And then these are 12 and a half gram chocolate bars. They look like individually wrapped Kit Kats in Willy Wonka golden ticket wrappers. That's what, it's like little golden bars of chocolate. Cool. And these are little one gram milk toffee caramels. It's a little label piece. There are five chocolate bars. I believe there are supposed to be six. And then this is a malt coffee extract with sugar. 30 gram pack. Feels like it's just fine. That's amazing. Yeah, three to four deciliters. This is going to actually make for a pretty large portion of coffee. Better get a big glass for that one. And then a contents list. I think I'm just going to leave that in there kind of stuck and I don't want to tear it. Look at that. So there were six chocolate bars. They are 12 and a half grams each, totaling out to 75 grams of chocolate and we only have 60. And that seems to be the only thing that we're short. And it says down here, open each package components only when you need, not earlier. All parts of the meal besides drink can be consumed without preparation. Extract of coffee can be prepared in hot or cold water. The components are packed in aluminum, which is hermetic with addition of the adhesive tape, which can be used to reseal the box again after taking the components out. Burn or bury these instructions. Whoa. Yeah, so I can imagine there are not many of these left. And then a pack of matches, which I'm not going to mess with them. They're in pretty rough shape and they're stuck, so I'm just going to leave it. All right, so there's everything laid out. Not bad. Let's get sat on your tray. Nice. Okay, so let's first start off with the coffee extract. Calls for three to four deciliters. That's three to four hundred milliliters of water. Fair little portion. smells like hot chocolate but it's just coffee and malt that is awesome and then there's a powdered sugar I believe That's about 300 milliliters, maybe 275. Add a little more as needed. Let's open up a chocolate bar.
there's some surface bloom, a fair amount, and that looks to be a somewhat generic milk chocolate. Smells a little sour. That's precisely when milk chocolate is spoiling. There's a milk spoilage, and it gets kind of sour. Says Kras, or Kras, I'm not sure. It's strange when milk chocolate spoils. It's not the worst, you know, smell in the world. You still want to bite into it. I don't know what it is. Well, at least I do. And I'm not going to yet. There's a little bit of a buildup. Got to check out a Rondo milk. Look at the blue ink just coming off on my fingers. Oh, jeez, blue ink is getting all over it. And then a caramel. That looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's hard as a rock. Then the herbal candy. Let's see if I can get one of these out. Oh yeah, this is going to be all stuck in there. These have all melted together. Going to save this label as best as I can. Okay, that's fair. That's definitely good enough, and I can wrap this and save it. It'll be fine for display. This is what we're going to check out. This will take a second. All right, that's just about all of the aluminum off it. Close enough. So there's everything, pretty much. Chocolate and candy and some coffee. And then salt tablets, which I'm going to keep the salt tablets sealed. They're just salt tablets. There's nothing to them. So let's check out the coffee. Hmm. That is completely different. A decadent malt overtone with a spray-dried coffee that is of good quality. It's not overly acidic or chemical flavored in any way. And it's very sweet, but the sugar blended perfectly considering it was like a powdered or confectionery sugar combined with that rich malt and a smooth, lightly acidic and absolutely no bitterness to it at all coffee. That is probably the most incredible, you know, all in one, three in one instead of cream, in this case, malt, which I like a lot more, you know, instant coffee. I've, ever had. An excellent stimulating beverage. Something that in conjunction with this, I mean I'd say halfway nutritious candy. I mean this here, milk, hard candies, let's check it out. Hmm. They're perfectly preserved and delicious malted milk tablets. Yeah, most unexpected these actually held up. It's a near perfect survival food. It's complete fat, protein, carbohydrates, good amount of sugar. It's non-thirst provoking. It has a long shelf life, lightweight. I mean, there are hardly any drawbacks to malted milk tablets. They're definitely a great addition. If you're lactose intolerant, you may have a problem, but malted milk tablets have been an excellent part of survival rations for over a hundred years. And in this case, it's pretty much a why change things up when you know what you have is effective. And for survival rations, things like, you know, chocolate, malted milk tablets, coffee, even though coffee is a diuretic, it will, you know, be a huge morale boost. If, you know, you're a pilot, a downed pilot, you happen to have a vessel that can, you know, hold and heat water. Coffee is going to be amazing, especially when you're exhausted. It's a given. In this case, this stuff got this chocolate in my hand, but I gotta go back to this. The malt works. That strong, yet very smooth instant coffee, you couple it with that sugar, and if it was bitter, it's been definitely toned down from, you know, all that powdered sugar. It's like a confection sugar, almost like what you'd powder a donut with. It mixed perfectly. There was no 
granular bits down the bottom of that glass. It's really nice. That stuff's exceptional. It's coffee I hope to see in rations. Again, I mean, it's something you don't see very often. A three-in-one coffee that has malt instead of, you know, creamer. That's pretty cool. And this little chocolate bar. It looks like a bloomed 20-year-old Kit Kat. Speaking of which, this thing is probably from 1990. I would say actually not too bad it's it's almost bloomed through give it a couple more years mm, excuse me like two more years this thing would have turned to powder and I think it was recently opened uh, I think someone took the tape off not that long ago and they took a chocolate bar out might have been a long time ago you never know could have been opened and someone took a chocolate bar out and put it in a drawer you know, for 25, 30 plus years. That milk chocolate. It's normal enough. It's not of super high quality. It's, you know, relying on just sugar and milk. You know, you know how milk chocolate is. It's, it's not dark chocolate. And I'd say... For a survival ration, dark chocolate would have been a little bit better. I guess this was just very well stored, or perhaps this is a milk chocolate that's built for tropical temperatures. It does kind of seem like it resembles a Yorkie or a Duncan's of Scotland from a vintage British ORP. It seems like it has something that keeps it a little bit more stable, but for the most part it's just a kind of cheap you know, milk chocolate bar. The star of the show is that coffee. That's, that's incredible. This thing seems pretty well thought out. I mean, predominantly carbohydrates and, you know, that's what you need in a survival ration. You're going to need carbs and fat and, you know, your least important calorie, believe it or not, is protein. This thing has a little bit higher protein than your average survival ration. I mean, you know, 72 grams of, you know, malted milk tablets, there's probably, I would say just in that alone, you know, six to 10 grams of protein. That's not bad. The caramel, toffee caramel, actually smells like butterscotch. Hard as a rock. And hard as a rock, let's work on this for a second. Well, it is a spoiled, like, it's not very good. A little bit of dried milk, excuse me. It breaks down, it's waxy. Just wash it down real quick. Well, back when that was fresh and not, you know, turned, the milk solids in it did not hold up like, say, in the Rondo milks. And being a hard candy, it lasts. But these are just toffee caramels sitting in a, you know, waxed wrapper. I should try this out. See if I can scrape any more aluminum off. I didn't like that. Oh, there's a big piece still. There we go. Now I feel better. That's good enough. Hmm. A very peculiar and unique fresh spearmint and lemongrass flavor very botanical and as it softens up it bites down into like a chewy taffy and now i can taste menthol and licorice somewhat sweet and something that i feel like could really soothe your stomach if you had a bad stomach ache or if you were just bundled up with nerves and gives you something to chew on hmm it's like a chewy herbal mint taffy is what it turns into i just want to keep the majority of this ration intact i'm probably gonna you know trade it back off for another ration this thing is really rare so there you go this thing actually held up pretty well i wish i could have more of this i don't know if you can find this stuff anywhere this was a very pleasant and surprising ration experience i did not expect any of this to be in that great of shape this was a pretty well-made ration built to last 
good variety of components that were well thought out and allocated. I'd say the only thing that is missing are at least several water purification tablets. But other than that, not bad. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.